I am Darcy Talenko. I am a vegetable specialist with the Cornell Vegetable Program. I generally work in fresh market vegetables on pest management issues from diseases to weeds to insects. A lot of our work comes from talking and listening to our growers. Generally it's their problems that we take the ideas and trying to look for answers and then because we're trying to answer their questions we work on farm. We're looking at wildlife today. Wildlife damage is a big concern for our growers. I am not a wildlife specialist but it was one of those issues when I first started in 2014. The birds would come in and done like 80% damage on their first picking of sweet corn. In fresh market corn, at least, any one little damaged kernel, it makes that ear unmarketable. So it became a priority to our growers. And so this project was to try to evaluate some new tools that were out there. We've been looking at using a chemical control, uh, the methyl anthrinolate, which is a grapeseed extract. But the idea is when the birds get ingest that compound, it has them have a stomach ache, and then they avoid that crop. The idea is that they learn this is a bad area for food, that they go somewhere else. And we're also looking at some mechanical options, the air dancers balloons and they're like a scare eye balloon is what they're marketed as and the idea is they look like a predator bird like a hawk and so that idea is they're moving around so they'll keep the birds out of that field. So another treatment we're looking at is detasseling the sweet corn. Once the crop has been pollinated we can remove the tassels and have no effect on the yield of that sweet corn and the idea is by removing that top tassel we eliminate the perching site for the birds and then that avoids them moving into that area. The biggest thing we're finding is a lot of these treatments need to be put out before the sweet corn is ready. So if the birds have moved in and found the food source, it's really hard to put out a treatment and have them reduce that bird impact because they already found their food source. So two weeks, three weeks prior to the corn reaching full maturity, we need to have those tools in the field to try to deter the birds so they're avoiding that whole field and moving on to something else.